long our contract negotiations have gone on. As a union, we have shown unity and solidarity with numerous internal actions over the last 14 months. We have petitioned and made our demands of our employer clear and unanimous. However, our employer's response to our demands has been the bare minimum. We formed this union to have a voice on the job because no one knows how to do our job better than us, the workers. I start my day off the same as many of you. A cup of iced coffee, some snuggles with my cat or dog, and I sit in rush hour traffic on my way to work. However, as I walk into work, I get screamed at. I get told I'm a horrible person. I should be ashamed. I'm a monster. As I start my day, I take my first patient. They nervously fidget in the chair as I take their blood pressure and their medical history. How confident do you feel in your decision? I ask. They do the best to hold back tears as they say they can't afford another child. Pregnancy is too high risk. They simply just don't want to be pregnant. It doesn't matter the reason, they are scared. I talk them through the procedure. I'll be in with you the whole time, I reassure you. I hold their hand. I hold their hair back when they vomit. I get them a blanket and some ginger ale as I am thanked for simply being there. I was a patient at Planned Parenthood a few years ago and I really value this opportunity to speak up in support of the workers who supported me. Yeah. By that I mean throughout a process intentionally designed to dehumanize me, infantilize me, and bully or frustrate me into changing my mind, these workers were the only people who treated me like an adult human being. On the day of the SCOTUS decision, and those that followed, we began the day as many others, incredibly understaffed. Many of us juggling multiple different positions, desperately trying to meet all of our patients' demands. Our phone lines flooded, and as we said before, we had one person on them. Patients were turned away by nearby abortion bans in nearby states, calling in sobbing, angry, scared, and desperate for our help. Without any leadership or direction from our employer, we, the union members, had to call ourselves into work to handle the calls from these abandoned Ohio patients. Thank God we have a union. Woo! I don't know how we could ever survive this crisis without a union. It's workers who make our society function, right? Yes. It's workers who educate our children. It's workers who care for the elderly. And it's workers who deliver patient care on the front lines, even when things are difficult, like during a pandemic, or in the face of an unprecedented right-wing assault on our human right to an abortion. Despite all these added pressures, we still remain terribly underpaid. Many of us just don't make enough money to survive on our own, and many of our members work second jobs and even have to donate our own plasma, our own blood, to make ends meet. I know for myself, I'm about $500 in unexpected fees away from not being able to make it each month. The staffing crisis we faced at the affiliate was not unavoidable. With better wages and working conditions, we would have been able to recruit and retain staff that we needed to safely and effectively do our job. But to see this crowd out here to fight for abortion workers that's been under attack, to ensure that they have a fair contract, the people need to see this because this gives hope management of Planned Parenthood of Western Pennsylvania needs to act like the progressive employer that it respects its workers and not like a bunch of typical corporate bosses. We invite the leadership of Planned Parenthood of Western Pennsylvania to join us and come to the bargaining table now and quickly negotiate a contract we, the unionized Planned Parenthood workers of UE 696, will continue to fight to uphold Planned Parenthood's mission. It is the time for our employer to uphold their end. It is their time to tend to its team, to negotiate a fair contract for livable wages and better working conditions so that we can meet the needs of our patients. It is time for Planned Parenthood to stand by their own ethos, again, to tend to the team. The clinic staff is that team. We are the ones face-to-face -face with the trauma, the sadness, and the fear. 
We are the team taking on the burden and making sacrifices for Planned Parenthood's missions and values. If Planned Parenthood values its own ethos and the team that upholds those, they need to give us the staff, the wages, and the fair contract that we deserve and have for the last 14 months. You're all with us, and we together are going to do whatever it takes to get what we need to provide the services that are so vital and life-saving. We have more than enough to be able to make sure that we come to work with the correct staffing. PPWP cannot afford to not negotiate a fair union contract so we can do our jobs. Enough is enough. Thank you.